Hello, everyone. Glenda Mollett here, and welcome to my craft room. It's catalog launch day, and I am excited to share all the new stuff in the new catalog with you. I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator from the west coast of Vancouver Island, British Columbia, Canada. And today is party day. I'm just getting, oh, go over to Facebook so I can share this with my VIP group so that we can see it wherever we are. There we go. All right. Got it going. So got to do this just in case somebody decides they don't want. Hello, Ms. Valerie. There we go. Yay. Look at, oh, people are joining. Yay. Hi. Hi. Oh, are you as excited as I am about this new catalog? Oh, I tell you. Hang on, because I just realized I don't know where my copy of the catalog is. I've got stuff everywhere. Where did I put my copy of the catalog? Uh-oh. Oh, well. I guess I'll find it underneath this pile of stuff somewhere. <laughs> Okay, so we have uh, lots of people joining us. Thanks so much. Hello, everybody. Yes, it's Sarah. It is a VIP party. I have stuff everywhere. Somewhere is my catalog, which I really wish I could find. Oh, wait, found it. Found it it's inside my, my light. Uh-oh. And now there's money everywhere because there's orders and stuff in here from this afternoon. There we go. Don't know where my celebration brochure is, but I'm sure oh, there, maybe that's it. Anywhere. Yay. Okay. I'm ready now. Whew. Mini catalog day. You guys got your catalogs. Have you got the celebration brochure and the catalog? If you live in Canada, you don't already have a demonstrator and you don't have a catalog. Get in touch with me. We will make that happen. Okay. So I'm not going to say hello to everybody individually because number one, I can't see all of the names. And number two, it just takes too long. And I don't want to miss anybody. So hi, everybody. And thank you for joining me. So this is a little bit of about how it's going to work tonight. I have a whole table full of stuff to show you. Samples as well as products and stamp sets and papers and, 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 and we're going to do a little bit of going through the catalog because it's live now. So I can show you what the inside looks like, which I couldn't do before. And then we're going to, I'm going to share the brochure, the celebration brochure, which I thought was there, but is not there. Now, first of all, you need to do two things, two things. Number one, if you're here, you need to say hi, because then I can put you on the list for just for coming. And I'm going to do a draw at the end of the night and somebody is going to win just for coming. Somebody is going to win a $10 product credit on your next order. So that's just for coming. And I've got a I've got the bucket just for coming. So these were the people that were here this afternoon. Their name's already gone in the draw. And then I'm going to have a draw. I posted the treasure hunt in my VIP group. So if you're not part of my VIP group, you probably didn't get the, the treasure hunt. And I'm going to do a prod drawing for a product credit for that as well. For those people that did the, um, the treasure hunt. Now, if you want to get in on the treasure hunt, let me just get the link to my VIP group. Um, come on. There it is. I'm going to put it in the comments. There you go. So if you're not part of the VIP group and you want to be, click that link and then comment here that you've requested to join and i'll go and approve you you can find the the treasure hunt fill it out and let me know 
Now, those of you that still, hi, everybody. So I just said I'm not saying hi to everybody individually because I don't want to miss anybody. And it takes so long when you've got so many people. So hi, thanks for joining me. Okay, so number one, comment here so I know you're here and I can put your name on the just for coming list. That goes in a draw. If you have filled out the um, treasure hunt, you haven't already let me know that you have then you need to let me know so your name can go on the list for completing the treasure hunt. And then there's one final draw. It's anybody who places an order before, or places an order by six o'clock on Monday using my host code, which is running across the bottom of your screen, or you'll see it when I face down on the table, or you can email me for or contact me for it. So anybody places an order, is going to get their name in a draw for $15 product credit on your next order. So those are the three draws. So I'm going to do the just for coming and I'm going to do the treasure hunt one tonight. The order one is going to be um, Monday during the my Monday live stamping. So I'm just writing these names down for everybody who is has commented so far. Uh, so just bear with me. Oh, Valerie, I had an amazing day. We had so much fun this afternoon, despite the fact that a few people couldn't make it because of illness and other assorted last minute issues. So those that did show up got to see lots of stuff, got to make a card, had some cake because James baked yesterday. Now, I must say, um, as I'm writing these down, I'm going to spell the name wrong. Um, I've noticed that there's people here from the States. I still want you to comment. Because I can't give you the product credit, but I can still, I can still um, send you a card from me, and then I'll just go on and uh, choose, keep drawing until I find um, somebody in Canada to give this thing away. Debbie, I got that that you filled out the treasure hunt. You're on that list. Okay, so everybody that has commented up to where I put the link to my VIP group, you're all in the draw just for coming. Oh, there's Carmen. Kate got you too. Keep commenting. And as I see new names pop up, I'll show them on there. Okay, you've seen enough of me. You don't need to see me anymore. Let's go this way. So I, I backed my camera off a bit so that there's more a um, area here to show you stuff. Okay, so we have the new catalog. Ooh, ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh, and did you notice what color I'm wearing? It looks a little blue on there, but it is the same color that's on the catalog. Do you see that? I'm wearing gorgeous grape. I thought I'd get in the, in the swing of things. Carol. I'll get you on that list for coming. Carol S. <laughs> Holly, as long as you did it, you're in, as I told the ladies this afternoon, there's a couple of them took them home to do them. And I said, just let me know when you've completed it. You're an adult. I'm not your mother. So if you did the treasure hunt, you say you did the treasure hunt. I believe you. Yes, Valerie, I need an assistant, but you'll just have to put up with it because, you know, it's just me. Okay, new catalog, celebration. So let's go through. If you got your catalog there, open it up. And I'm going to show you what I have page by page, maybe. Okay, I don't have the Country Bouquet Bundle, but I do have the, the paper. Let me find it. There it is. So there's two papers for this suite, the Country Floral Lane suite. 
There is the gingham, the six by six gingham. So on one side is balmy blue and mint macaron, I believe. Yeah. And then if you turn it over, you have uh, petal pink and sweet sorbet. And they're all they're all in gingham, different kinds of gingham patterns. Isn't that cute? I love this. Fun. All right. So I'm going to do this as I go through them. That way I know I've done them. I had them all on display today. But now I have to pack up my display to take to Powell River next week. And I have the Country Floral Lane designer paper. Now this one I couldn't spread out because I ran out of room. Okay. So this one goes, this one, this pattern, you can punch out with the punch. Oh, Carol, I hope to inspire you. So I'm just going to go through the sheets as they run. So this is Country Floral Lane, 12 by 12 designer paper. In Canada, it is 1650. It's not, um, it's not a specialty one. So it doesn't have, it doesn't have any um, foil and anything on it. Hi, Dimity. I got you on the list for showing up. Okay, and petal pink hearts. Now tell me, can you see this good enough or do I need to lift it up for you? Is this, tell me um, if you can see the patterns enough. Okay, I used some of this one. So there's that one. And the hearts, hearts and X's and O's underneath there. This pattern, lift, lift, she says, okay. I'll lift from now on. There's a nice pattern with mint macaron and balmy blue in it. And some hearts. Look at this. Isn't this fun? Can you imagine this on, like if you scrapbook, this is perfect for scrapbooking because just slice it, put it on there, do another slice, put it up there. You got a scrapbook page. I don't scrapbook, but you can still use them on cards. Still cut them. Cut, take Cut out that much, or you can cut them out individually. Yeah, there's lots of stuff you can do. I like this. I like this pattern. I like stripes. Stripes are my thing. And there's some more hearts. This one's a blue. I love the bike. And then we have that pattern, which you think is mm, kind of icky, but you know what? Use it in small quantities or use the other side. Okay. So that's the Country Floral Lane paper. I'm just gonna, I lost my, where did I put the, the note that said what it is? Oh, good gracious, ladies, it's gonna be like this tonight. I can see this already. I'm gonna lose things. Oh, there it is. Just said I wanna, I wanna be half decently organized at the end of this. Okay, what else is on here that I have? Estelle adhesive back sequins. They're in here somewhere. No, I didn't get the sequins. No, they're coming. They're not here yet. The bikes would go with the tulip holum stats. You're right. Yes, Carol, it would. And you know, Carol, I was cleaning up something and I ran across that, that um, card that you sent me that windmill fun fold card from a couple of years ago. I still got it. It's awesome. Okay. So that's, that's the stamp set and the dies Valentine's themed and it has a punch. Sorry. I don't have it to show you this one. Love for you bundle. I didn't get that one either. So I'm just going to kind of go over top. Now this one, this share a milkshake. What do you guys think about this share a milkshake one? Yes. No, my, my friend Leanne is doing a class on this. And I thought, no, I'm not interested in that. But after seeing her cards, she may have changed my mind. That is a super cute bundle. And I've seen a lot of fun cards made with these cats. There was one where it was um, a slimline card, you know, which is long and slim. And it had 
the cats. One here, one there, one there, all cascading down. Oh, Carol, that's nice. She has all my cards and Valerie's cards and Terry's. Valerie wants the cats. Connie doesn't like the milkshake. I don't know. It's kind of. I'm on the fence about it. We'll put it that way. Okay. Page 15, two-tone flora bundle. I do not have it yet. It's arriving at my house, hopefully Thursday. But I can show you um, the fine shimmer paper. This is amazing stuff. If you like shimmer and glimmer paper, buy this. Don't buy just one package. Buy two or three. <laughs> Nancy not onto the milkshake either. Okay, so there's that. Look at that. Oh, I wish. Okay, let me get see if I can get the glare off. No, it's the glare's coming from my light up top this is smooth there's no texture with this and it comes with fresh freesia gold and soft succulent love it so that's the um fine shimmer i have iridescent pastel gems there's the iridescent pastel gems you know what i didn't do is get something white piece of paper here so here's the iridescent pastel gems that go with that suite these ones are quite large you can see how big they are compared to my finger i like them though uh where can i put these now that i'm not going to lose them right there okay then we have the pool party grow green ribbon right here This is nice, soft. The, when I see grow green, I cringe. I don't know about you, but grow green makes me cringe because I remember that old grow green that we used to have that was so hard and so difficult to tie. This is not. This is, they call it grow green because it, it goes like this back and forth, but it's more like a satin ribbon than anything. And it ties really nice bows. You know how much I hate these bunny ear bows, but I do it because it's fast. So it ties nice, neat little bows that are flat. They're not too thick. See, they're not too thick at all. So that's the ribbon for that, the Pooh Party Grow Grain ribbon. And I don't have the fancy Flora designer paper yet. I'll have to share it when it comes. But I did get the something fancy. Yep, I did get something fancy. There it is. I did get the something fancy bundle. Um, it's got a lot of really nice sayings in it. I didn't forget your birthday. I'm just stretching it out a little, stretching out the celebration. Yeah. I don't know about you, but sometimes I forget birthdays. So that's perfect. And then it comes with lots of label dies. And I love label dies. I love them. Okay, that's going back there. So that's that page. And those two pages. This one. I don't have the lantern bundle, but I've seen some really cool cards. I don't have spring blessings. But did you notice these up here in the corner? Did you notice those? They're really hard to spot. If you don't know they're there, you can miss them completely. They're the dragonfly trinkets. They're really thin. So, and they're light. They're metal, but they're really light. And there's what they look like. Isn't that cool? 20 of them for $11 in Canada. I like them. What, do I have to keep saying that? Because you know what? I like it all. Carol says milkshake with music rock stamp for an oldies or 50s theme. Yeah, that would work. Okay. Uh, dragonfly trinkets. They're hiding up there in the corner. Don't miss them. 
I don't have this, but this is the this is the bundle that coordinates with that designer paper that's in the celebration. So this designer paper here coordinates with this bundle, with the fragrant flowers bundle. The flowers are the same. And when I show you that this paper later on, I made a card this morning out of it. You're gonna be you're gonna want the paper when you see my card. Okay. But sorry, I didn't get that. Okay. Okay, there's more people watching than I have commented. So if you haven't commented yet, please do, because that'll get your name in the draw just for coming. And if you haven't filled out your treasure hunt yet, go to the VIP group and get get it, fill it out. And if you have and you haven't let me know yet, you got to let me know so you can go in the draw too. Okay, by the bay, my absolute favorite absolute favorite bundle in this catalog i love it oh you got the stamp and not the dies divity oh there's a name i don't have written down sarah uh, there we go okay so let me show you this bundle or this suite Of course I, oh, there it is. Woo. Thought I forgot where I put it. Here we are. Yes, I might have, oops, upside down. Hang on. I might have it all. This was the very first thing I ordered. Thankfully, it was on the pre-order. By the bay, yep. Yes, Dal, I've got you on that list. Okay, Seaside Bay so this is the by the bay suite the bundle is called seaside bay so there's the stamp set there's the dies anything that is ocean related is automatically on my yes list so here's the designer paper now this is six by six designer paper let me get it spread out here so i can show it to you so one side has gold foil and pearl they call it pearl which means it's iridescent but doesn't add color and then oh there's judy um and then on this side it's got uh, patterns but no i'm writing judy's name down oh caroline hello and Cheryl, see, all I needed to do was get you to comment. All right, so there's the paper. Oh, this one I've gone through a couple of times already with you. But this sheet here is my favorite sheet out of the whole package. I am on package number four. Hello, Lori. Yes, Seaside Bay is my favorite. Okay, so they've got this in pinks and in blues too. And then I'll just go through this one. Look at that one. Oh. There we go. And this, is, this one has pearl on it. So it's iridescent, but doesn't add color. This one is really hard to use because it's so dark, but we had an epiphany this afternoon when we were making the card that I'm going to show you um, because it has the, it has the bird, the bird, you know, the bird from here, because of course the make and take had to be this bundle, it has this bird. And when you cut it out, you get a negative of a bird. So we thought you could use that on this sheet, the negative part, and put it over top of that. So I'm going to keep this one out so that I can show you what I mean when I get to the make and take, which will happen in a bit. And here's the rest of the paper. There's some gold. This one's got gold. This one has pearl. And then that has pearl on it too. And then real quick, the other side. Favorite paper of the whole 
catalog, favorite suite of the whole catalog. All right, there's that. And now I've got a whole bunch of cards to show you. But before I show you, I'm going to get my note out here because this is the class I'm having. Oh, hi, Kimberly. This is the class I'm having in February, the Seaside Bay class. So you can sign up for that now. I'm just writing Kimberly's name down. Um, you can sign, registration is open now. $25, you get three cards and the flat pearls. $110, you get the bundle, three cards and flat pearls. And you qualify for a level one celebration item. $150 gets you the suite, so all of this stuff, plus the three card kits, and you qualify for a celebration reward. If you live out of Canada, you can sign up, get the tutorial only for $15. You prep the kits, then you join us and stamp together with us. And if you're part of my monthly tutorial, you will get this tutorial for this card for free. That's your bonus card. So these are the three cards that are in the class. Okay, so I'm going to give you a real quick look at them. Here you go. That's it. <laughs> Those are the class and the subscription cards. So this one I did the other night, um, Thursday night, in my VIP group. I shared how to create this, what's it called? Accordion fold card. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Every card I see using this bundle is amazing. So that's one sample card. Oh, club people, close your eyes. Sneak peek of a club card. Because not only am I doing um, a class in February, but my club wanted this one as well. And we're going to be doing a shaker card in club. And we're going to be doing a fun fold in club. So if you're not part of my club, hi, Terry. And you want to make those cards with us, contact me because we always accept visitors in our club. And I'll tell you how you can do that. You can come make those cards with us too. Okay, so that's the bundle. Yes, I showed you the bundle. Yep. Okay. Bundle. Oh, no, these are going behind me. Bundle, balmy blue and white variegated ribbon now you're not going to be able to see the color in this janet you're right i love the whole suite so can you just see the variegated it's white at the top and then it goes down to balmy light balmy blue at the bottom this ribbon is very 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 light makes amazing bows and they're really flat so that's part of the suite flat adhesive back pearls now I can't show you a whole package because I've used so many of them and I'm on my second package already. Yes, I am. Okay, flat adhesive back pearls. There you go. The color is iridescent. So it reflects the paper that you're using and the color that you're wearing. So right now, if I turn them this way, you're going to get pinks and blues. Now, maybe it'll pick up the, see that? If I turn it towards my shirt, it starts going purple. You start seeing purples on there. Two different sizes, the big ones and the little ones. And these, oh, they're this bitty. Hello. So they're really, really, really flat. Writing Betty's name down. Got you, Terry. Okay. They're really, really, really flat and they're cute, cool. Get them. You're going to love them. I wouldn't lie to you, would I? And then the paper. So that's what the suite is in the suite. You get one of each of these, um, $150, and I will give you the cards. Now, if you can't make the class on, what was it? February, the Wednesday, the 22nd, eat all of my classes come with video tutorials. You get a PDF that has all the measurements on it. And you get clickable links to exclusive video tutorials from my YouTube page that are unlisted. And the only way you can find them is if you have the link. So you don't have to be in person at the class. You can um, 
register for the class and I will, uh, if you live out of town, out of Canada, you can get the tutorial and then you'll have the measurements and the links. If you live in Canada, you'll get it with your kits. Um, I usually send them out a, a week or so in advance so that you have a chance to look at the videos if you want. And you can create with the videos. You don't have to join me at the class. In person happens at one o'clock in my studio and virtual is at 6.30 on Zoom. Okay, I don't have anything here. I don't have anything there. I have this stamp set. I'm not, I didn't get it out to show you because I haven't used it yet, but it's just a whole bunch of dots in the background. There's a sea turtle. Um, this is Regency Park. I did not get the either of the bundles. However, I have these dies. Now I was talking to my team and friend Louise, and she told me how awesome those dies are. They are called the uh, Sentimental Park dies. So I ordered them, and we're going to see what they're like because I think they're pretty cool, and they don't really show up very well in the catalog. Okay, but I do have the textured shimmer paper. This is part of the suite. It comes in shaded spruce, balmy blue, and white. There, can you see that it's it's like corduroy, and it's got texture. You probably can't hear as my fingers are going over it. It sounds like corduroy. It's really cool stuff and it's shimmery. It's shimmer paper. So not only is it gorgeous colors and have a texture, it's got the shimmer on it too. So that's the textured shimmer paper. I have the King embossing folder. So there it is. It's part of the Regency Park suite. And there's what it looks like when you emboss it. It looks just like the cane that you see on cane back chairs. So there's a negative and a positive side. You can use either one of them. Look at that. Looks just like cane back chairs. Who would have thought? Okay, let's put those over there. Okay. Knight of Navy bordered ribbon. I have that too. There we go. It has a shimmer to it. And it's got a, a satiny border on it. I didn't get enough out to show you how to, it, this makes really cool bows too. They're nice and flat. Those of you that have ordered the product shares, they are due in next week. So if you're out of town and you've ordered it, I will be in touch. So there's the, there's a bow and it's nice and flat. Like there's no, you don't get any height to your card using that one. And the adhesive back milky dots. I have a full package to show you because I've already used almost an entire package and had to order some more. So I'm just. Oh, Kathy, I'm sorry you're not feeling well, but thanks for commenting. I've got you now on the list for the just for showing up draw. I was just going to say, if you're here and you haven't commented yet, make sure you do. So I can write your name down and you can go into the just for showing up draw. Okay, here you go. So there's the Milky Dots and they are in Mango Melody, Night of Navy, Petal Pink and White. And these ones go really nice with the um, Seaside Bay bundle, the By the Bay suite. Yep. Okay, that's that. And the Regency Park paper, I don't have it. So I can't see you. Oh, there's Louise. I was just talking about you, Louise, and how you talked me into those dies. I had to order them. Yeah, it's all Louise's fault. I get in, I get persuaded just like you guys do. So there's those dies. I can see them up close. They're going to be interesting. They don't really show it very well in here. So I'm kind of excited to see them milky dots are great kathy okay i don't have the farm but in here 
that that I'll show you in a bit is there's the day at the farm paper that coordinates with this bundle here, the on the farm bundle. Oh my gosh, you guys, get better. Around the bend. I have around the bend. Now, if you're part of my team, we are doing an event in February based on this around the bend dies. So I got the stamp set and the dies. You don't need the stamp set to play with the dies. You don't. You truly don't. It's nice, though, that if you have them. Oh, good, Kathy. Free is always good. Okay, there's the dies. So this one here cuts a corner. Um, there we go. So there's the, there's the corner it cuts. See that? But you don't have to use it just like that. See this one? I cut it out in balmy blue. And then I cut it out in white and, and I cut off with my scissors. I just cut along here so that all I had was the stitching on there. And this paper, I will show you this paper in a bit. It's the dry brush metallic paper. You need to win the lottery. <laughs> oh, okay. So... I'm going to quickly show you the rest of these cards because my team, I haven't told them about what the cards are yet. So one, two, and I already showed you the third card. So if you're part of my team and you haven't signed up for this yet, sign up. Use your downline dollars. You can get the class for free. Then order, you can use your downline dollars to order the dies as well, but you can also order the dies yourself. And then because the class only is only about the projects, I'm not including the dies or the stamp set in it. Those are extra. So that's the around the bend bundle over here. I like it. It's fun. Um, I did not get marigold moments. I've seen some really cool stuff, but I did. I can't have everything. Now, did you guys see up here in this corner the enamel dot essentials? It's another one of those hidden things. When you look at a new catalog with stamping up, you have to pay attention to the entire page because sometimes they have things hiding. Okay, these are the enamel dot essentials and they are night of navy crumb cake and white and they're glossy can you see the shine on them they're really cool to use there's a lot of um products or embellishments this time that go with both the seaside base suite and the on the ocean bundle as well okay $11 for those. And I don't own anything on this page. Oh, friendly gnomes. Yes, I do. I got friendly gnomes. Oh, thanks, Sarah. I'm glad you could join us for a little bit. If your name is pulled for the draw winner, I will be in touch. Okay, friendly gnomes cutesy version of the one we had at Christmas. Same type of gnomes. Same die set. Cuts them out. This die set carried over from the holiday catalog. There's the friendly gnomes. There's no die to cut the this mushroom out. Okay, so here's what I did with it. This was the first card I created. Isn't that cute? I love it. Then I look at the little squirrel on the inside. And then I use the rays of light 
background stamp and created that. And then I stamped on our fine shimmer paper, the um, fresh freesia one. I stamped the hat and then I fussy cut it and put it on top. So she has a blingy hat. I love this. This is so cute. Okay, then I did a little bit of a fun fold as well. And these hearts come from this guy. And all I, I stamped it a few times and fussy cut it and used it on the inside of the envelope. That's fun. And then the last one is my diorama card. Now this one I'm going to show you how to do later in January in my VIP group. It's one of the Thursday thought cards and it uses the um, in color glimmer paper in there. And there's the, in, the, the inside of it. So that is friendly gnomes. I'm going to pop these in here because then I know where they are. Of course, there's too many and the case won't close, but that's okay. Come on. Thank you. So the dies are the dies that came in the Christmas catalog. They're still available. It's not a bundle. They didn't bundle them. Okay. I did not get that. And I did not get this one either. But I did get this dry brushed metallic paper. Oh, my goodness. Okay comes in two colors they say it is cajun craze rose gold and petal pink so that's this sheet cajun craze rose gold and petal pink and this sheet is um, petal pink and soft succulent this one here now i used it on that card hang on on the band this card I used it on this card with balmy blue and it works with balmy blue as well as soft succulent. Isn't that gorgeous paper? Aw, oh, thanks, Debbie. <laughs> thanks, Kathy. I, I do try to enable people. Oh, thanks, Cherry Lane. Who is Cherry Lane Stampin'? I need your real name just in case you are a winner. Okay, I've got you on the list. Hang on. Cherry Lane Stamping. Okay, what else? Delicate Desert Designer Paper. I have that one too. That's this paper. Clips off. All right, we'll go through this paper. Are you ready? This paper is more um, scrapbooking, but it's perfect for cards. Oh, hello, Tracy. I'm just gonna put that in here. Tracy Taylor. Okay, so you can make cards out of this. This paper is really difficult if you were a demonstrator and you wanna do a class because the paper is so different from the top to the bottom, but it's gorgeous paper. And if you don't, if you can't use this side for a class, you can use this side. Look at that. Oh, Dancy, do you really like it that much? I don't, I've seen a lot of really cool cards. <laughs> Valerie's desert side is coming out. I like the paper. The paper is really fun. Dots are fun. I don't care what bundle they come in. They're, they're fun. This is really pretty, like a distressed look. This has got Aztec prints on the back of it. And look at this. That to me is absolutely stunning paper. Can you imagine this in behind the um, Aspen Grove dies? Like as a, as a background in behind the Aspen Grove dies or What's that other one? Grassy Grove. No, Aspen Trees. 
aspen trees, and grassy grove. I'll get it right yet. Yeah. And this one's got a bit of a, I don't know what you call that pattern. But I like this side anyways. As an Aztec -y pattern on that side, and then a weirdish Aztec -y pattern on the other side too. And this one. And that one. Yes, they would, Lori. Beautiful sunset and sunrise stuff. Oh, yes, Metal. Oh, shit, shit. Tracy, that would be awesome. She said to use metallic as the top layer for the trees. Yep. Or the or um, shimmer paper. Oof. Okay. So that's the desert delicate desert designer paper. So that's that sweet. I don't have the ribbon and I don't have the the gold faceted adhesive back sequins either so i can't show those to you um that's just closer up i don't did not get kind and sincere but i did get the animal animals there we go gold and silver foil on one side i just have to get rid of that Hang on, I've got it on a paper backing. Oh, never mind. Okay, so you got gold and white, and then this is the other side of it. And then you have gold and white, and that on the other side, giraffe. And there's more gold and white. So they basically have the same pattern. Well, there's another Glenda. Hello, Glenda. So there's that pattern. Okay, got to write another name down. Hang on. So if you're wondering, if you're new and you're wondering why I'm writing names down, it's because I have a draw for just for coming. And if you live in Canada, then there's a gift certificate on offer and if you don't live in Canada I'm going to send you a card if your name is drawn and then I'll draw, draw somebody in Canada um, this one is silver and white so these ones that have the white background you would be able to sponge color onto those as well sponge color and then die cut a flower out of that that would be cute and there is in grays now we've had this pattern before, but I don't think it was in silver and white. And there it is in gray. And that more silver and white. And this is on Sahara sand. Now this one, I didn't tell you when I, I saw a card made out of using this one and they use Stampin' Blends to color inside there. It was quite effective. So that's the like an animal 12 by 12 specialty paper i have decorative borders it's a stamp set only and i used it on oh i thought i had it here i used it on a on a card with the gnome i think it was the gnome Anyways, I don't know what I've done with it, but I like this because they're perfect for inside. If you have a masculine card, just put a, a the leaves. There's flowers. There's kind of this pattern. I've used it quite a bit on the inside of stuff. Hang on. We're going to organize our pile here because it's fun. Okay. So that's decorative borders. Taco Fiesta. Oh, there's Norma. Oh, oh, oh. You're supposed to be working. Got you on the list. Oh, Glenda's watching from Australia in the land of the Glenda Gaggle. Yes, I'm part of a, a Facebook group called 
Glenda Gaggle, and we're all Glendas. Your name has to be Glenda in order, in order to be in this worldwide Facebook group. And there's almost 500 of us in there. So fun. I haven't posted much in there. I really should do that. Okay, sweet citrus bundle. If you are into fruit, this one is really cool. It's hybrid. So you, I don't have it. I did not get the taco set, Tracy. No, I didn't. Okay, so this is the citrus bundle, sweet citrus bundle. So there's stamp set, die set, and embossing folder. That The embossing folder is hybrid. So that means that the dies go inside the embossing folder when you are, um, you can die cut and emboss at the same time. Yes, I have a friend who really likes this sweet citrus bundle. She told me that's what she's going to order. So I might have to do some card, get it and do some cards with it. Okay, second favorite sweet in the catalog is the rain or shine sweet. The very first thing on my order list was the Seaside Bay, the By the Bay bundle, and this one, or sweet, and this one was second on the list. Now, this is what my class is this month. I coordinated with my friend and teammate, Shanna, and we created um, a Playing in the Rain mini retreat. Hey, Marsha, how's Texas today? I lost my pencil. Uh oh. Where did I put? Oh, there it is. Got to write Marsha's name down. Okay, so stamp set, coordinating dies. It has a bridge, has bow ties, has a kite, has a stump. Fun, fun bundle. The part of the suite is the rain embossing folder. You can see it there, the raindrops. If you get this, just make sure your raindrops go this way on your card, not this way, because that way is upside down. <laughs> I think. One way is right. No, I was wrong. That's upside down. The fat at the top is upside down. You want the skinny at the top. I watch all the CSI shows. <laughs> okay. Oh, can't show it too long. Can't show these cards too long either because, oops, that's the class. Did you see it? And, oh, Lynn, I love it too. Just writing Lynn's name down. So um, the class is six, six cards two 3D items. And if you signed up by the early bird date, you get a bonus card. Okay, it's gone. Um, and pillow gifts and all sorts of good stuff, including um, the cards, the kits for the card. But the RSVP date for that has come and gone to get the card kits and all the stuff, but you can still get the tutorial bundle. $30 gets you tutorials for all six cards plus two 3D items. And if you whine enough to us, I'll even send you the early bird as well. So that, get in touch with me. 51 degrees in Texas. Ooh, that's cold for you guys. So this is the, I made this card the other night um, in my VIP group. It's a, a shaker card. Look at that. Oh, it's got, it's got the little loose daisies in it. So part of this suite is the loose daisies. Now these are made out of foam and they're colored on, they're the same on both sides. So they're, it's not like they're plain. So you've got pattern on one side and then you got pattern on the other side. And they're really light and they don't get staticky. So they're really nice to do shaker cards with. And then I popped a few sparkle and shine sequins in there as well. Now, if you wanna see how to make this card, 
um, the video is, is in my VIP group. So just if you're not part of the VIP group yet, go on over there and join. And you can look for the video on how to do this. Because when I do the cards in my VIP group, I don't show them. I don't share them anywhere. They are only in my VIP group. I don't do the share the video tutorials anywhere. Okay. And then there's the designer paper. Oh, my God. This is such fun paper. I tell you, every year they come out with a really cute thing in the catalog. So it has UV coating on it. Can you see on the rain slickers? You can see it shining. So it adds shine. It's like the pearl, but the pearl, um, the pearl has, my computer just does crazy things. The pearl has a little bit of iridescence to it. This doesn't. This is just shiny. So it's just like you've taken, what was that stuff called that we used to have? You know that clear stuff that we put on, then you have to let it dry for almost an hour? It's just like you've used that on part of the paper. So we have the, this, the dies cut this out. The dies cut this out. So this is the, there's the one that cuts out the bunny rabbit. So you don't have to fussy cut these. And then what I've done is these little flowers, I cut them out with a circle. The little tiny layering circle die works perfect for those, the smallest one. And then raindrops on a blue background. These have the UV on them. They There's not dies for this, but you can fussy cut them with not much effort. There's Shanna crystal effects yes got your name shanna so shanna is the one that is um i coordinated with to create this class so this one fussy cut and then i use a circle to cut out the the clouds crystal effects yeah you guys are all telling me and it's like i wasn't reading <laughs> i wasn't looking at the comments okay so this is more raindrops on a, um, a blue, like a thundercloud background. And I've just realized I've got these raindrops upside down. Then there's umbrellas. They have the UV on them as well. And then this one is really fun because if you take and cut out, I cut off, I think it was three and a half inches on the bottom and then cut this to five and a quarter and then you have a strip left up here so you have this in a card you have this down here to use and you have sky up there to use and then you turn the paper over and you get the non the non funky side with some really cute patterns um that really work well with this whole suite thing we used an entire package of paper creating these cards i love this it was really hard though shannon and i used, would have to be in touch with each other to make sure that we weren't using the same page as we didn't want to have to buy like 16 packages of designer paper just because we've used all of one sheet so that's the rain or shine suite. And remember, if you didn't get in on the class and you want to get in touch with me, because there is a tutorial only option available, and then you can prep your class, your kit yourself and join us for the class. Okay, uh, moving on. Bunny rabbits did not get. I got this punch, but it's not here. It's up here. Um, and it's also down here. The happy labels punch. It's really cool because it does the ends. So you can do you can do a sentiment that's this long and you can do a sentiment that's that long. And it goes half three half three quarters and one inch, I think, on both of them. I can't remember. Mm, but I can go get it in a sec. Okay. Did not get dainty delights. 
but it coordinates with the Dainty Flowers designer paper in the celebration catalog. So they've coordinated a lot of the celebration items with stuff in the mini catalog. This is a level one item you can get this free with a $60 order so order the bundle $74.50 you can get the stamps or the paper for nothing and there they've used those um those dots hey moving on no i know your real age good thing we're friends <laughs> i love that <laughs> i was going to get ginkgo branch but i haven't got it yet still working on it I like the dies. I've seen some really cute cards done. Now, enjoy the journey. I do not have. I have the twine and I have the paper. So this is the twine. We talked about it the other night. It's, um, it's quite thick, this twine. But I discovered that if you take it and you take it apart like this, it goes nice and flat and then you could tie your bow out of that if you didn't want the extra height because tying a bow with this is because it's so thick it would give your card extra height and you would probably have to pay the oversize for it but it makes really cute bows hang on there's the there's the bow with it so and there's the there's i took it apart it's really easy to untwist it and it comes in um pumpkin pie garden green and coastal cabana you get the three different colors and the paper is really cool i don't remember having paper quite like this before gorgeous sunsets Okay, let's just get the paper. And this is another one of those ones that would make really nice scrap pages. Um, a little difficult to use in classes, but that's okay. Because you would just have to do the sell people that they won't have the same cards as everybody else. And I would cut the middle out of that. Then you could get three card fronts out of that and you'd still have strips to use on the inside. And then of course there's the other side. This is this this is called in scrapbook world, this is called side A. And this is called side B. Sometimes I like side B better than I like side A. This one is kind of cool. These look like um, waves to me. But you can't go that way because then your clouds are upside down. But you could cut it. And there's the other there's side B for that one. This one is trees. I like that. Side B. Oh, you guys like this one? I haven't even, I haven't cut into it yet. It's pretty. So on one side, you've got the greens, and then you turn it around and you get the purples you would get three really lovely card bases out of that or two, depending on whether you're doing um, this way or this way, you know, hot dogs or hamburgers. It does look like Northern lights, Betty it does. And then there's side B. Look at this one. Isn't that stunning? Just look at that. What a sunset that is. Oof, love it. And there's side B. Yes, absolutely, Holly. Mount Aspen dye, mountain air, any of those would work. And there's the same one, only in in green and purple again. So it's the same pattern as this one. So you've got oranges and pink in that. And then you've got the greens and the purples in this one. This is my favorite sheet out of the whole package, the starry sky. And that's the, that's that paper. What's it called? Enjoy the journey. Okay, get this 
pinned back together. Because somehow I have to get all of this stuff packaged up and in my car and in a fashion that I can walk onto the ferry with it next Saturday or next Sunday because I'm taking this all to Powell River. Okay, put that over there. What else have we got? Keep going here. Thistle. Did not get the thistle. Did not get the world. Did get the alphabet dies, though. Alphabet dies. Where is... I want to show you a card with it. Oh, owl. Owl. Use them on an owl card. I'm going to show you these ones in a bit when I do the celebration stuff. But look at that. They are perfect size. My tip with this is use adhesive sheet because you don't want to be dealing with those little tiny narrow letters. Look at that. Isn't that cool? They are amazing, Kathy. I agree with you. I love it. I love them. And they're not too expensive. They're only $58. And you get, you get 52 dies. So you get all the letters and you get duplicates. There's duplicates of some of them. The A's, the E's, the I's. And then you get numbers as well. And then there's a few symbols. These are, if you don't live in, in Canada, you would know what those are. There's an ampersand. There's a quote, uh, exclamation mark and there's a heart and i use the heart on the on the owl card these are fun buy these and buy adhesive sheet at the same time or you will regret it just saying <laughs> okay um nope don't own anything of that page uh, nope um, they use the the journey designer paper on these cards. Frame florets. This has been around for a couple of months now, and you've seen me showcase them a lot. I love them. I love the ovals. And I'm going to show you a couple of cards I use them later on. Now, there's also Warm Welcome. We've had this one for a while. We were able to order it. Now, the... Blending brushes. They've come out with a stand for the brushes to sit in. See, it, it's angled. So when you sit it there, your brushes sit like this. And mini brushes. Look at how cute these are. So this is the full size one that we have. And there's the mini one. They're the same length. But this is like half the size of that sometimes when i'm um coloring i need to color something really small a small area so i was inking up the side of the brush and kind of like this with the brush at an angle i don't have to now i have little ones i was excited when i saw those three of them are 15.75 and the stand is 20 dollars. now you don't need the I know I shouldn't say this, but, you know, I, I like to be honest. You don't need to stand. This is how I store my blending brushes. They're, it's in a mug. That's it. And then I have, they're all around the outside. And right in the center is, I keep the, the cloth that I clean them with. Takes up very little space on my craft room because I don't have a lot of room in my craft room. Ready to ride. My whole family is motorcycle people motorcycles, side-by-sides, quads, you know, the whole thing. So this one, I knew I had to get. Uh, let's see. I think I might be having a class. Maybe I'll just sell a tutorial because this would make a really nice masculine class. So there's the dies. This one I did because you have to, I had to figure out how to put it together. So I numbered the die pieces. So you start with this, then you add this part. So that's where the engine is. Then you add this, it's the seat. Then you have to add this part of the wheel. 
both of those wheels and then you add this on top so these are the wheels these are the tires these are the um what are those called okay words totally gone out of my head ah yeah holder does take up a lot of space if you don't have the space and then there's flames and I thought this was a wrench, but it's not. It is a wrench, but it cuts out the stamp, the wrench stamp. This cuts out the stamp. And this cuts out the other stamp. So the stamp set has, let me get my cards out of here. The stamp set has a big motorcycle and a little motorcycle. So you can stamp this and cut it with this, or you can build your motorcycle so that it looks like that. That's all the pieces put together. And then these come out of the center of that and they would make really good like moons and stuff. Mud guards, good idea. Fenders, yes, fenders. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> Sometimes the words are floating and they just refuse to come out. Okay, so anybody that buys this from me, if you want me to send you a photocopy of this sheet so you know which order to put your bike together in, just let me know. And I will do that. Okay, so part of the suite is the metal plate 3D embossing folder. And there's, it looks just like metal plate that the guys use for um, toolkits and stuff in the back of their car. And what else is in the suite? Oh, I know. There's three um, studs, they call them. Studs. Adhesive back studs. They're cute. So black and silver, and you've got long ones, round ones, and diamond-shaped ones. And let me see. Bundle, embossing folder, studs, and paper. Okay. So there's the there's the stamp set, and there's the dies. This is the paper. On one side, it's foil, black foil with gray. And yes, you can color these. I colored when I was doing a, I don't know what I was doing the other night online, and I showed you that you could take your Stampin' Blends and color these flowers. Now, you won't get really bright flowers because they're going on to gray. They're not going on to white. So on one side, you have the black Oh, I'm missing a sheet. Where's the other sheet? Oh, it's hiding. Hang on. I have to show you the other sheet. Move it down a bit. There we go. <laughs> oh, you pay. Okay. So. On one side, you have the foil and the gray, and there is six sheets. So we have checkers, and we have these look like um, nuts, checker plate, flowers, skid marks, and tools. And then if you flip it around to the other side, you get these really cool patterns. So you can cut these up and use them on a card and put a motorcycle in front. And this one is orange checker plate. This one has a whole bunch of signs on the other side. This one, the dies will cut out some of them. So any of the motorcycles that are pointed that way, that way, these, this one, this one, that one, that one, they'll cut out with the dies. The other ones, you need to fussy cut them. And then this sheet is different because you cut on these lines and then you can use them as elements on your card. And then this one has clothing on it. I know it's upside down, but you know, it is what it is. I'll show you some cards that I made with them. So it's Ted's birthday, my hubby's birthday tomorrow. 
he has a motorcycle. So I was building him a, a, a birthday card because I knew I wanted to make um, a birthday card for him out of this. And I kept going out to the garage with my pieces to find out what to do next. So don't tell him, but this is his birthday card. He has, uh, what does he have? I don't know, something black, black and silver. But it's glossy and there's no plain glossy paper. So there's a trick. And one of these days I'm going to show you, I'm not going to tell you now because you'll have to come back and see how I got that black shiny cardstock to make his bike out of. And then this is one of those sheets out of the paper. And this is the checker plate one that's black foil. And then I stamped on the inside and used the, I cut this down a bit. I didn't want it quite as wide. So I used that piece on the inside. Yes, happy birthday, Ted. <laughs> Poor guy, he's going to get another birthday card that has a post-it note in it. <laughs> and then I did half of the motorcycle on the front because I didn't want to put that, that way facing motorcycle. So there's two different sizes. So that's one card. And then, oh, I used the happy birth, the birth, the alphabet a la mode dies on this one too. And then I fussy cut, this is from the um, biggest wish stamp set and I just fussy cut it. And I said to, to our son here, I said, so if you could have a motorcycle in any color you want, what color would you want? And he said blue. So I used Tahitian Tide and this is his birthday card. Yay. His birthday's not till April. I'm ahead of the game. Of course, he shares his, a birthday with his brother because they're twins. So I'm going to have to figure out something to do because the, the one that lives up north, he's into motorcycles too. And here's another one. So I used one of those, another one of those um pieces from that one sheet of paper but you could use you know the one that had all of the um hang on you could use one of these i used this sheet so it's up here in the corner there we go just stamp this put the studs on there use the flames on the inside and on the envelope so that's the cards from the legendary ride bundle over there okay what else is in here oh on the ocean another ocean one of course you know me, I had to get it too. And it's just a bundle. There isn't there isn't dies or anything for this one. No, there isn't paper and stuff that goes with it, but it works really well with the by the bay designer paper and some foil. Okay, so the bundle is the stamp set. Now this is pirate ship stuff. And the dies, this die here is waves. And it is amazing because it has, you can use it like three or four different ways. And then this stamp here is fun to use. So this is the first card I created. It uses the By the Bay designer paper. There's that, my favorite one, but this is in the blue. And then underneath here is the, the water stamp. It has birds. Yay birds. And this I stamped in soft suede and die cut. And then I used Winky on it to color it in a bit. So that's one card. Then I made this one. This is an easel card. So it stands up like that. There's the stamp down there. And I used that sheet. You know that sheet I said. I was having a hard time figuring out how to use it. This one from the By the Bay. I use that in the background. And I've used this. This is the silver foil. 
So it's the dark one from the silver foil. And then you see here, that's part of the wave. It's the thin wave. Now, I want to tell you with this dye, use the um, use the adhesive sheets with that too. You will need them. And then I've got the, what are those called? Enamel dots essentials, the ones that are glossy. I added those on the bottom. So there's lots of bling on this card. And then on the inside, I stamped the water at the bottom and made a couple of steering wheels. So that one stands up like that as an easel card. And then that's what I did on the envelope. And then, yes, I made four cards. I had fun. This one, my local son helped me with this. He was here the day I was working on it. Um, it's got the the bridge from playing in the rain dies and the grass from playing in the rain dies and i did a horizon and stamped the water can you see the water in behind there and then this i stamped it and then used wink Costello on it again and there's the inside and the envelope i like doing the insides and envelopes you guys do the insides and the and your envelopes to match your cards. I do. I like having not naked cards. Okay, so I used a whole sheet of or a sheet of the by the bay designer paper in the background and then I used more of it to do so you can really see the wave dies there. So you have this part down here at the bottom and then you have these the next section, which is big hooks. So that's two different sides of the die. And then you've got the little narrow one that comes out from in between both of them. So um, with one die, you get three different looks. And then there's that, remember the technique of I did on the motorcycle to make it glossy? There's that technique again. So at some point, you're going to have to be either take a class or be part of my VIP group to learn how to do that technique because it's really fun. And then I, I didn't want to throw away the rest of the designer paper that I cut off from here. So I used a strip of it on the inside and a strip on the envelope. My phone just said something to me. Oh, that's okay. I thought it was telling me it was dying or something. So Oh, I didn't show you my pink motorcycle. So that's the um, on the ocean bundle. Uh, Carmen, I do. I try. I don't know. It seems like I'm not. I'm not being mean or anything, but you get a card and they've spent an hour creating the outside of the card. And you open it up and there's nothing in there. It's just, it's unloved. It's like you've loved the front over and over and over again. And then you open it up and there's nothing on the inside. I didn't show you my, my purple shiny motorcycle. I used the fine shimmer paper. So there's the fresh freezy part and the gold part. And there's that rays of light stamp set again. And this is black and white paper. And I've just sponged some fresh freezy on it. And another strip of that gorgeous fine shimmer paper. And there's the inside. I used more of the paper on the inside. Yes, motorcycles can be feminine too. They can. All right, we're getting to the end. I think we're at the end. Um, don't forget there's a carryover list from the, the last catalog. If you don't have it, let me know. Then at the back. Aw, thanks, Debbie. At the back, there is the hostess rewards. There is the paper. It's called Flowers and More Paper. Now, I was going to give some of this paper um, free to people who participated in my um, product share, but I got looking at it, and I really don't like it. So. You're not getting that. You're getting something else. But did you see the stamp set? Did you see that stamp set? 
Now, those of you that have been with me a while, you know me and frogs, right? It's like my arch nemesis is a frog. Now they have a stamp set with frogs in it. Guess who's not getting that stamp set? Nuh-uh, not happening. It will not be in my craft room. <laughs> I do have an index to this catalog. Um, Stamping Up does provides these one, these indexes here. But if you want the index for this catalog, get um, let me know and I'll email it to you and just print it out. Oh, no. Oh, Shanna, no. Shanna's going to send me a frog card. He's looking to see if I have the yeah, edge. Hang on. So my sister and I go back and forth with this stupid frog card. She bought a package of Christmas cards that were frog. You'll see it in a minute. And she's every year for about 12 years, she sent me this stupid frog. And then I would take the frog off of it and send it back to her for her birthday. Oh, Holly, shush. Oh, you guys, no. <laughs> at least, at least um, Tracy understands. Okay, so this is the Christmas card I got from my sister. So in July, when her birthday was, I sent her the frog, the last one we have. So this is her Christmas card. Now, they have a black lab, and he's named, uh-oh forgot the name doesn't matter anyways it's a really lovely dog so she sent me this as she doesn't send traditional cards she sends sympathy cards she sends get well soon whatever she can find that she likes it doesn't have to be what it is supposed to be for a sentiment so i opened it up and guess what i found can you guess what's on the inside that stinking frog so I sent her a birthday card in July with this frog on a wobbler. Now you, you know what a wobbler is? It's a little plastic hinge doohickey thing. You get them on Amazon. And apparently she saved the darn thing. No, Carol, it will not be a frog stamp set. So she pulled it off my card taped it on to the inside of this card and then she says he's back thanks sis and then if that's not bad enough her christmas present to me was a picture of a frog because they live they live in kamloops which is the interior of british columbia hang on it's the interior of british columbia and there's a ski hill there called sun peaks it's a resort area and they live three quarters of the way up in the mountain and they have a little pond in front of their house. And so when we were there visiting last summer, we would sit out by the pond. It was really lovely and it was warm and the water cascades down this big hill and they've got fish in the pond and it would start to get dark and the frogs would start to croak and I would go in the house because I'm not sitting out there. Oh, are you, Debbie? Debbie's from Kamloops. That's awesome. Um, so for Christmas, she took a picture of one of those stinking frogs and blew it up. It's like bigger than eight by 10 and put it in frame and sent it to me. I said to her, what the heck am I supposed to do with that? It is not going up in my house. It's disgusting. <laughs> oh, yes, Dimity, I bet you do have frogs. You have those those frogs that are poisonous if you lick them my question was when i found out why would you lick a frog like give your head a shake oh dimity are you sick oh that sucks i'm sorry i am not kissing it i don't care if it is a picture but she's getting it back for her birthday again Okay, let's do a quick whip through of the. Oh, I didn't show you the. See, I missed it in the catalog. The vellum basic specialty paper. See, it's in here and I completely missed it. Let me find it so I can show it to you on the page. It's called Vellum Basics and it is on page 46. See, if you're not looking for it, you'll never find it right there down at the bottom. Now, does that look like this? 
Yes, no, I don't think so. They took white paper on a white background, like vellum with a white pattern on a white background. Nope. I know, Tracy, you can't see it. A toad, toads are worse than frogs. Yuck. So I put it, I put it on top of black cardstock so you can see the three different patterns that you get. There's stripes, there's polka dots, and then there's these leaves. It's lovely. I had to have it too, Valerie. Okay, celebration. Celebration. Okay, don't sing. Do you know what happens when you do? To take the sound away. Okay. Adorable owls. Like, come on, how adorable are these things, right? I showed this one earlier. Oh, there's that um that stamp set I told you I used. What's it called? Hang on. Hang on. Uh, decorative borders. Here's decorative borders. This here. And then there's the the um, alphabet Alamo dies and the cute little um, owl that I fussy cut. And there's the inside. There's an, This is another one of the decorative border stamps. And then I made an envelope out of the designer paper that's in there because you get 48 sheets of this stuff for free. So why not use it? There's another one. Is that cute? And I use that dots and spots designer paint or dye in the background. I love owls too. And we have them, we have them in our gully outside our house and I can hear them calling. They hoot all the time in the evening. They're the gray barn owls though, not the brown ones. And there's the inside and there's the envelope. And then when I was, what was I doing? We were doing a class. I was showing how to do, maybe it was this card. And in my mind popped this card. So I made this one on the fly one night online. And I just took a blending brush and put some blue on there, stamped them over the top, colored them, added some bling and done. Really e quick and easy card to do. And then some more of that designer paper. And I'll show you that paper in a minute. So that's the adorable owls free with a $60 order. And then we have, this one is for Shanna. So Shanna's business is called Carrot Top Creative Co. Because she is a carrot top. She has gorgeous, ready orange hair. So when, the minute I saw this, I thought of her. And of course, she got it right away. So I made this card out of it. There's no dies for this. So you have to fussy cut this stuff. And the paper is... Um, day at the farm so this is free designer paper as well so this card cost nothing to make other than a little like maybe 20 cents for the cardstock that's it on the fly yeah <laughs> oh there's the inside and then i used a day at the farm more of the designer paper to make the the envelope for it and then i made a I made this one. Now, unfortunately, my carrots got a little sideways, so they're kind of being blown in the breeze. They should have been straight up and down, but you know, it doesn't didn't happen. So there's the inside. I don't know where the envelope for that one is. So that's the thanks a bunch stamp set. It is free with a $60 order too. Now this goes really good with that day at the farm and designer paper, which I'll show you in a sec. Hang on, I've got an itch in my eye. Oh, okay. The other, another one of my favorite things from Celebration is the dainty flowers. Now I showed you it coordinates with that, what was it called, dainty floral or something in the, in the catalog, the stamp set. Level, th level one. It's free with a $60 order. So on one side, it's florals. And on the other side, it's cool patterns that are really fun to use. So I'll put it like this and we'll just run through the patterns. 
So if you don't like, this is side B, which I like better than side A, but side A is really pretty because it's done like in purples. It's got a lot of Blackberry Bliss on it. This is my favorite. You can't poke it out. You can't see it. Hang on. Let me lift it up so you can see if you can see it up close. You can, there you go. You can see the polka dots in there. My favorite sheet out of all of them. And some greenery. And look at this stunning sheet. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? And then on the back of that is ovals. So you can just cut that and use that as the front of your card. Put a sentiment on it and some bling and you're done. This is um, you could use on the inside or you can use on the outside. And there's some, oh, this thing keeps migrating on me. And then there's a, a border. This makes really stunning cards too. Just cut it up into three card fronts and away you go. And then there's another one of these. It's like um, alcohol inks and then they've used some blotches. Is this not gorgeous paper? What do you think? Do you like this paper? Or is it just me that likes this paper? I may have gotten a few packages of it. Do you like this paper? This was the first one I ordered. Okay. So that's the Dainty Flowers. And it coordinates with the Dainty Flowers in the catalog. And there's lots of inspiration in here too. You like the paper, Carmen? I do too. Okay, day at the farm. Day at the farm. So this is the paper I used uh, with my carrots. I agree, Carol. I love it. I love it, Marsha. You're right. Okay, so it coordinates with day at the farm um, stamp set in the catalog. You get some animals and then a tartan. And then you get some trees. And there's just a little bit of this one left because I've already used that because I made a, um, an envelope out of that, this side of it. And this, this is Mary Merlot, right? Hang on, cherry cobbler. Okay, that doesn't look cherry cobbler to me. They say it's cherry cobbler. And then this is a lovely pattern. I like this pattern too. I use that on a couple of cards. Yeah, Nancy, I hear you. Me too. I like these. I like the the animals in this one. These little duckies and chickies. And then there's that um, wire pattern that I used on the, the carrot cards. This one is really cool if you're doing a... Betty, this is for you. Betty, my friend, I bet you love the day at the farm. Moo. <laughs> Betty has a farm. She's she's on Facebook as Gerald, her husband, but it is really Betty. And they have a farm. They have chickens and usually cows. But if you don't like the animals, then you use this side of the. And then this one. I should have used this on a carrot card, but I haven't yet. But look at the. It's carrots and corn and peppers and onions and broccoli and peas and cucumbers and there's all sorts of stuff in there so fun and then the striped i love stripes see i have pieces left because i have been using this already so that's day at the farm this is also a level one free with a 60 dollar order that's day at the farm then uh sending support stamp set it's all um sentiments that's all it is so i'll just do up close here so you can have a look at it it's okay not to feel okay there are so many ways you might feel right now alone shouldn't be one of them i like that stamp set. don't like the reason why you'd have to use it but oh are they Carol's daughter and her husband are dairy farmers. That's cool. Okay, favorite flowers. I got this, or I looked at it, and I thought, ooh, yeah. 
not a fan of that paper at all. And then I I ordered it because, you know, you get it free, so I'm going to order it. And I discovered it's fabulous paper. So I did a card this morning with it. I'll show you the card. So on one side, you have these gorgeous um, floral patterns. And then on the other side is geometric patterns. And they go really good together. Like, look at this. Um, mossy Meadow. And Blackberry Bliss. And look at this. Fresh Freesia and on black background. Come on. See, I've used this. <laughs> and then Calypso Coral and some fresh freesia and a lovely petal pink. Oh, I'm sorry now. See that you had to make a card, but it's perfect for it. It is, Kathy. They did not do a good job of showing this designer paper. And they fussy cut. I'll show you in a sec. They fussy cut really good, really well, really easily. They're not hard to fussy cut at all. And I love the black background. And then look at the pattern in this. This is, okay, you probably can't see it. Hang on. Hold it up. Look at that pattern. Isn't that cool? I love this paper. I'm going to have to get some more packages of this paper. And look at this one. So it has that in the background. Oh, thanks, Tracy, for hanging out. I'll be in touch if you win the you win the just for coming draw. Don't forget, there's three draws. There's three draws that you can get in on. Number one, hang on. Number one is just for coming. So if you're watching and you haven't commented yet, you need to comment so I know you're here so I can put your name in the draw. So I've got a list. I've been writing down the people as they talk. Um, that's one list. The second list is doing the treasure hunt. So if you're part of my VIP group, I posted that in the VIP group. And if you're not, then go become a part of my VIP group and get that and tell me, send me a message that you're doing it right away because I'm going to draw it at, at when I'm done this. And then the third one is placing an order today or tomorrow or by Monday at six o'clock and use my host code and your name will go in a draw for a product credit. And that one's in Canada only. Sorry, I can't do outside Canada. Okay, so I'm going to show you the card. So I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be sharing how to create this card in my VIP group one day. It's called, oops, upside down, called the double diamond gatefold card. Look at this. Opens that. And this is supposed to have a sentiment on it. And I'm not sure whether I want a sentiment on there or not. So I haven't stamped it yet. But this, there's no stamping on this card. Absolutely none. And look at that. There's the inside. So you use the ones on the edges as well as the, the full ones. Because you can always put them like here. I used a piece of the edge one there. And then here. And then I put some on the envelope as well. Okay, Betty, I'll put you on I'll put you on the list. Betty. Let's see, Carmen. No, I don't. So you're on there now. No, I don't waste any well, I waste like some of them there's a lot of black in between. So I did waste a little bit of it. There's what the sheet that I cut out. So you can see over here where I was cutting. So the only thing you waste is this black that's in between there. And if you have um, lots of like this, it's free. So get it, make envelopes out of it. I haven't, I didn't want to make an envelope because I wanted to use the edges on the envelope, but cut it in half and make an envelope out of it. So I'm going to show how to do this card and I'm going to be doing it in Calypso Coral uh, later, two weeks, I think, a week or two in my VIP for Thursday Thoughts because it's a fun fold and I do those 
over there because it's fun. And then I show you how to do a template for each one of your fun folds as well. So that's the favored flowers. And then we'll flip the page. And we have in the country. You know, I'm going to confess I have not used that, this stamp set yet. So it's got two images in it, a country lane and a set of steps. It's a lovely stamp set, but I haven't had it long enough to do anything with it yet. And then, oh, beautifully happy. Oh, my God, people. Beautifully happy. Let me tell you how much I love this stuff. I like this stamp set so much that I'm doing a free class in March for anybody who gets the, who gets to choose this as their free reward during celebration through me. Then you're going to get kits to make three cards and we're going to stamp together if you don't get this through me or you don't have enough orders to get it then i'm going to have um extra sets i think i'm up to five right now and twenty doll twenty dollars can't remember and i didn't write it down anyways you're going to pay for the kits and that I think it was $20. And that includes the stamp set. So you'll get the stamp set for free if you don't already have it. So if you're part of my team, you're going to get the, the PDF for free. If you are part of my monthly tutorial subscription, you're going to get the PDF for free. Okay, so let's have a look at the cards that I've made with it. There's, there's one. I, I go on Wednesday mornings, I go to a group of seniors and we make a card each week. That's the card we're going to be making. So this stamp set has the outline stamp, he, like here, you get the outline stamp and then it's got the filler inner stamps. So you can fill it in. I used pale papaya to fill in the flowers and then pear pizzazz to fill in the leaves. And then there's another um, stamp here. If you don't want that to be leaves, you can make that flowers as well. And then on the inside, there's a little flower and it has filler inner stamps as well. So you don't have to color this. It's all done for you. All you have to do is stamp it. Oh, good, Kathy. All right, so here's another one. I use the framed florets dies on this i think I, this i think i did this one live the other night didn't i if i do remember correctly i don't remember what i do from one week to the other it's a nice stamp set because there's no coloring involved okay so i have oh there's the information in the class hang on uh oh it's stuck okay so here's the information on the free class you can do in-person or virtual, order the Beautifully Happy stamp set from me during celebration, like qualify to order it with a $120 order. You'll get the three card kits for free. Order at least $150 in product during celebration and get the kits for free and the stamp set. Be part of my Craft Room Stampers team and get the PDF to create your kits and stamp with us or and it's not on here um pay for the card kits and i'll throw the stamp set in for free so i'm going to give you a quick look at the three cards we're going to be making ready <laughs> there we go there's one card these are the ones that are be in the free class there's another card and there's the fourth, the third card. So that's all part of the free class in March for those that get that stamp set from me. And if you don't get the stamp set from me and you want to do the class, then you pay for the cards and I'll throw the card, the stamp set in for free, but only as many as, like it's limited to the number of stamp sets I have. Okay, Dandy Designs Designer Paper. 48 sheets free with a $120 order. 
all geometric shapes in fresh freesia, balmy blue, calypso coral, granny apple green, mango melody, and petal pink. So you're probably saying, where the heck is the petal pink? Wait. There we go. There's petal pink and balmy blue. Um, I use the framed florets dyes, Carol. So if you live outside of Canada and you want to you want to participate in that class, I'll probably have a tutorial option as well. So look at this paper. It's all free. 48 sheets of paper for free. And I used, I used some of this in all, I've used quite a bit of this. It's gorgeous stuff. And because it's free, hack it up, make envelopes out of it. People, it's free. Free paper. I like this. We're using this in the in the playing in the rain class. We're using some of this paper too. I think that's it. Oh, the the host set. Um, Scenic Garden, three hundred and seventy five dollars in Canada to get that stamp set for free. I don't have it yet. And then there's the the Boho Blue mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. Oh, people, look at that. Is that not adorable? Sneak peek on an upcoming color from the new, excuse me, the annual catalog. Boho Blue is coming back. If you remember back four, 13, 14 years ago, we used to have Boho Blue. So, Join my team and you will get option one is the Boho Blue Machine and $225 in product of your choice for $175. Option two, if you don't like the blue machine, you can get the white one, the one that's in the catalog, plus $225 in product for $175. So this is an $86 value. And then option three, if you don't want that, then you just get $225 in product for $135. So you pay, this is an $86 value. You're going to pay $40 for it because it's $175 if you get the machine and it's $135 if you don't get the machine. Always looking for people to join my team. We have a lot of fun in my team and you get special perks. All sorts of stuff I share with my my team people you know what the only thing i didn't show you and i think i missed it in the catalog was these opaque adhesive back gems how did i ever miss those let's find out what page they're on opaque on page 13 completely missed them oh right there's another one of those ones that's hard to find and then I shut the page. Oh, well. Page 13. It's actually 12 and 13. Up there, right at the very top. Do you see them? Opaque adhesive backed gems. They go with um, the share a milkshake stuff. Where's my white? There we go gorgeous and they're faceted okay so i have a you up for um me showing you how to make a card or have you had enough it's quick because i got most of the work done now if you're placing an order to get in the placing an order draw here's the host code it's also running at the bottom along the bottom wait get down get up get down there where it says my name, grab free tutorials, that's where it is. Okay. And you have until Monday at six o'clock to get your order in, and then I'll be doing the draw. So here's the card I'm going to show you how to make. Of course, it uses my favorite bundle. I'm calling it a porthole card. Here's the inside, and there's the envelope. So 
I have a number of these because I had people that had to back out today. So two, I have six. I have six kits to give away. Now, I can't do the stamping for you, but if anybody would like a kit, then how can you get in touch with me? You need to let me know. And if, I'll put everybody's name on a wheel and I'll draw for six winners of the make and take kits. have to be in Canada um, I because I can't send a product across the border. Okay. I know you're all saying card, please, card, kit, please, kit, please, but I haven't figured out how I'm going to do this yet. I think you need to send me, um, you need to send me a message. PM me or email me. You have until six o'clock Monday night. And that's I'll do the draw for that on Monday night as well. Okay. Need my stamping paper. I've got hiding under here. Okay, so all of you that have said card, please, I'm not going to go through here and do that. You need to send me a message, an email a text message, some way to tell me you want in, because otherwise this is going to be, we're going to be here all night. Okay, so I'm going to take the crumb cake and the seashells and stamp a row of seashells on the bottom like that. Oh, here, let's go down a bit now that I'm not showing your product anymore. Okay. So that's one, and then I, that's for the inside. And then on the front, I'm gonna do the same thing. Stamp a row of those, and we're done with that. Get rid of that. Next, I have Balmy Blue. Yeah, make sure you send me a message, an email, a text message, PM me, whatever. If you want the kit, then I'll put them all in a draw. Okay, I'm going to go on here with the, the dots. And we'll put some dots all over the front. It's really hard for me to be random. Because I'm OCD and random doesn't work in my world. So you'll probably find a pattern to it. There we go. So that's that. So that's the front done. Now, Knight of Navy. My phone is going crazy. You guys are all sending me messages. That's cool. <laughs> okay. So if you, um, this video is going to be here on my page and in my VIP group. If you want to remake this card, you can go back. So card base, balmy blue, eight and a half by five and a half, scored in the middle. Two pieces of basic white, five and a quarter by four. And then um, a piece that is two by three to do the bird. And then a piece that is one half by two and a half. And we'll do the sentiment. Now the sentiment is from Beautifully Happy. You know, the celebration one. Stick that on there. Like that. And then... I have three and a quarter, well, I had three and a quarter by three and a quarter, and I cut out the frame. I used the um, circle die number seven, and the stylish shapes number four, so there's a bit of stitching around the edge of it. And then I had a piece of designer paper, my favorite designer paper, by the bay that was three by three and I cut it out with layering circle number six and then gold foil two and a quarter by one and a half and I die cut the two grasses from the stamp set in dies. Okay, hang on, I just brought the sheet. I should have had my little one out. Let's move all this stuff. I don't have my table, so you're going to have to 
I'm sorry, you have to put up with the shaking. Is I got to die cut my bird. Got a bit of washi tape on there to hold it in place. Here we go. Hold that there. Give this a cut. So I did most of the cutting before so that I knew that this would go quick. And if you came to the in-person, then you got one of these kits and it had everything done. All you had to do was the stamping and then die cut the bird. Okay. Got our bits now, we can do some assembly. And remember when I was talking about earlier, um, that sheet of dark, wavy, this paper, and how we thought it would be really cool to make a bird out of it. So here's what I was talking about. There's the negative of the bird, and you could cut a piece of that designer paper, put it in behind there, and put that on a card, and you'd have a bird. There you go, your tip for the day. Okay, where'd my adhesive go? Here we are. Oh, shoot. My dimensionals just fell on the floor. So let's get this put on. This is taking a long time. I'm sorry. You guys are so wonderful to hang out with me for two hours. I tell you, I appreciate it. Okay, this is the front piece, and it just goes on flat onto your balmy blue base. And we'll put the inside in while we're at it. Then it's done. This, this card. If you have the prep done, it's a really quick card to put together. And I love it. What do you think of the, what do you think of the, um, my card? Do you like the porthole thing? Okay. So now, got the porthole. And I'm going to pick my dimensionals up because they fell on the floor. Mini dimensionals. Okay, tool, backside, dimensionals on the back of the porthole. Oh, good. Well, I tried to do something different, you know, give you a different idea of a card. So I did a an online catalog launch with people from around the world. So it was two and a half days, solid two and a half days of demonstrations and giveaways. So they were all pre-recorded, which was really cool because we could make it and then didn't have to worry about going live or anything. And there's got to be 30 um, card demonstrations in that thing. And it happened, started... Wednesday night at 11 p.m. Pacific time, and it ran until yesterday, last night, at 11 p.m. So it was, it was really, it was an interesting thing. So if you don't, if you didn't get to see it and you want to see it, contact me. I'll send you the link to it because they're all still, all the, all the, um, Demonstrations are still there. Okay, so I've popped this up over my designer paper. Yes, Valerie, you need this designer paper. Don't get just one pack. You will regret. I have a feeling this is going to be like that. What was that paper the other day, the other last year? Um, you know, the one that was so popular that was full of scenes that kept selling out. This is going to be the same. Okay, put some adhesive on the back side of this. Figure out which way I want my... On the horizon, that's what's the paper. Okay, I think I'm going to put this up this way because then my bird's not going to block it. So I'm going to put this here. I'm going to keep it kind of over to the right-hand side a bit, like that. Now, my Tombow. Yes, on the horizon. That paper was amazing and it kept selling out. And I have a feeling this is going to do the same thing. So I'm just putting a little bit of adhesive on the bottom of the grass like that. And I'm just going to let that dry for a sec while I deal with the sentiment. So you can see on the sentiment, 
I angled the edges, both edges, and to get them the same, it's really easy. So you do whichever side first you want. I have to move this or I'm going to get that glue in there. So just figure out what angle you want to put it at and cut that. So I've cut that. Now you take this piece that you cut off, so that cut off of there, and I'm just going to flip it around to the other side and line it up where I want it. Fold both of them. Can you see what I've done there? So I've taken that, this edge, I've flipped it around here so that it's going in the same direction. And this way you get your angles at the same angle, your cuts at the same angle, like that. Use that as a template. Now I've got this that's cut the same on both ends. Pretty cool, eh? Another one of those magic moments. Okay, let's put a couple of dimensionals on the back of that. <laughs> Thanks, Kathy. You never know what you're going to learn when you come here in my craft room. Things come out. I'm a wealth of useless information. Okay, that's popped up. Hopefully that's straight. Sure, that'll do. Okay, so take the big one. I'm going to put it down first. Now, let's do a dry run with the bird. Make sure that that's where I want it. Nope, see, it's got to go down a little bit. I'll pull it up. Just a hair. There we go. Right there. Now we'll take the little one. Dry run with the bird. I don't want to put this somewhere that's not going to show. I'll put that there like that. Now, dimensionals again. And I'm going to put dimensionals on the beak and on the feet. And then I'll go afterwards, when after I get it on, and get um, the rest of them in there. Because then you, I don't want the, the dimensionals to be over top of the frame because then they it sits funny but there are some areas you can do it like that and take the backs off hang on put your bird on there right there like that so th that's down and this is down so i'm just going to pop one underneath the tail there. There we go. Card done. And then for the envelope, I just put a row of those across the bottom. There we are. Okay, now I have to clean things up a little bit here because I have to be able to get at my computer so I can type the names in because I'm going to do the just for coming draw. So if you're here, you haven't commented um, so that I get you on the list for being here, you need to tell me right now because the draw is happening as soon as I get the names typed in here, okay. which is as soon as I can get to my computer because, you know, it's been inundated with stuff. All right, so I'm going to take this. Sorry, you're going to have to put up with me. Okay, what draw is this? Just for coming draw. Okay, so I got all the ladies from this afternoon are in there. And then, oh, this is going to take a while. Hang on. There's a few of them. So I'll, I'll call them out as I'm putting them in. And if you don't hear your name, let me know. Val W. Janet L. Michael. Oops. G, Debbie, A, Valerie, my L doesn't work very well, Valerie, B, Holly, J, Sarah, C, Susan, H, Sharon, N, Nancy, R, Wendy S, Connie U, 
Carmen F. Carol S. Dimity F. Oh, I got Sarah in there twice. Judy G. Carol L oh. Caroline W. Cheryl. Oh. Oh. Y L. Cheryl. I lost the name. D. L. L. R. R. Kimberly. Terry. Betty. Kathy S. Louise B. Tracy T, which was Cherry Lane. Glenn. Brenda L. Norma H. Marsha L. Lynn B. And Shanna M. Okay, the names are all in there. Now's your chance. If you did not hear your name, then tell me now. I'm going to count to 30 in my head, not out loud. If I missed your name, tell me now. This is the Just for Coming draw. And so comment now if your name's not in there. And then this one is the treasure hunt. So I got to add a few more names to the treasure hunt. Where did I stop? Val, Debbie, A, Paul, Lee, J, Betty, and Carmen. Okay. So the names are in for the treasure hunt okay i don't see any names okay hang on taking the phone down look we go here i have to flip this go here all right so there's here's the draw it says just for coming so i'm going to delete that delete delete the row Hit shuffle twice because that's what I do. Shuffle once, shuffle twice. And this is just for coming. So a $10 product credit. And if you live outside of Canada. Uh oh. Oh. Hang on, my phone's dying. I thought it was plugged in. Somebody unplugged my cord. Okay, I have to just hang on. Shoot. Let me get myself plugged in here quickly before I lose. Oh, Lord. Was that 4%? That's not good. No wonder, I f no wonder it was telling me it wasn't working. Okay. So I've shuffled twice. And the winner of the $10 product credit. And if you live outside of Canada, you will get a card. And I will keep going until. So I hope I know who's not in Canada. Here's my pencil. And the winner is, oh, Glenda L. Now, Glenda is um, Australia. So she'll get a card. So I'm going to remove her. And I'll do once more, see if we can get a product credit winner here. Diana T. Okay. Congratulations to Diana. Wins a $10 product credit. Now this one is the treasure hunt draw. Let me go back over there and check if there's any comments. There is no comments. Okay. Treasure hunt draw. Delete, delete the row, shuffle once, shuffle twice, and the winner of a $10 product credit for the treasure hunt draw is Pat H. Congratulations to Pat. Pat Hickey is our winner of the treasure hunt draw. So 
Diana T wins $10 product credit. Pat H wins $10 product credit, one for coming and one for doing the um, the treasure hunt. So there's still the draw left for placing an order and that's a $15 product credit on your next order. Orders must be in by six o'clock on Monday night. Um, don't forget to sign up for the Seaside Bay class. Registration is open now. You can, oh, that's not it. I lost it. Oh no. You can look at this one while I try and find the one I'm missing. Where did it go? Okay, well, this is, is that the details? No, that's not even the details. That one is completely wrong. Oh, here it is, found it. Seaside Bay class, February the 22nd. Registration is open now. Get the kits plus pearls for 25, the bundle plus pearls and a free celebration for 110, the suite plus a free celebration for 150, plus the kits. Tutorial only if you live outside of Canada is $15. And if you're part of my monthly tutorial subscription, you get the fourth card for free and that's $15 a month too. And you can sign up for that anytime. <laughs> Debbie, you're funny. <laughs> yes, congratulations to everybody. And thank you so much for hanging out with me. Have a wonderful weekend. And I will see you back here on Monday night, 8 o'clock Pacific time for another stamping demonstration. Have a wonderful weekend. Stampin' smiles. Bye for now. <laughs>